Professor Lumumba was invited for the 10th anniversary of the EFF, which most people know as Julius Malema's party. And he gave a powerful speech, which I will show you in a bit. But some people try to sabotage that. They claim it's because he supported Uganda in their decision with their new law. They'll never go to Bahrain. They'll never go to Brunei. They'll never go to Saudi Arabia. They'll never go to Indonesia to tell them it is Africans who they think are tails to be wagged. So on this issue, the, the government of the Uganda and the people of Uganda, I am with them a hundred percent. They are accusing EFF of supporting Professor Lumumba, who doesn't stand for their rights. And this is what they said. The singing and cheering of EFF supporters outside the Sara Bartman Hall at UCT was drowned out by the voices of those opposed to Professor Patrick Lumumba's presence on their campus. They said the EFF's inclusive stance cannot be reconciled with its invitation to Lumumba. When Uganda passed its anti-gay laws in May, described by many as oppressive, EFF President Julius Malema took to the streets in support of the public outcry to Uganda's law. But when the party announced Professor Patrick Lumumba as its keynote speaker at UCT, his critics said this flies in the face of its inclusivity policies. The AFF supporters stood up to them actually and said, we want to hear Professor Lumumba speak and we're here to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the EFF. That commotion went on for a little bit. The Professor Lumumba protesters because he supported Uganda and the EFF supporters had quite a bit of um, a back and forth. But at the end of the day, no one could stop Professor Lumumba from giving his powerful speech. 10 years ago, the economic freedom fighters became a movement in this part of the world. Ten years ago, her leaders, led by the president and the commander-in-chief, Julia Selo Malema, sat down and determined that South Africa must take a different direction. Ten years ago, he put together many great young men and women who now bestride the South African political terrain like the fabled Colossus, organized in different formations, headed by the commissars who are here present, whom I salute, supported by the fighters on the ground, whom I salute, because in the last 10 years, you've done a great job. In the days when you started, there were those who doubted. Those who assumed that you are just but a flickering flame which would disappear, but you've refused to disappear. <laughs> Ten years ago, there are those who thought that you are a passing cloud, you've refused to pass. Ten years ago, there are those who thought that you are mere irritation, you have continued to irritate as you must. Professor Lumumba is known for lectures that unite Africans and the diaspora. And his vision or his message is bigger than any sexuality. Just because you don't agree with him when it comes to your sexuality doesn't mean that his message should stop right there. Just the selfishness of it all. We need to hear from this man because we're trying to change our whole continent. We're tired of our people dying left and right for no good reason. So the fact that they believe his message should not be heard because they disagree with him on one thing, it just 
fix for itself, I guess. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this whole situation.